It's Bella's Baby Day! Today is a very special day. That's right, it's Bella's Baby's Day. I don't know how well you guys can see. Sorry about that, a motorcycle going by. How well you guys can see the babies down here. <clears throat> and I'm sorry, I woke up a little on the congested side this morning. But everything is a-okay. So today is Bella's Baby Day. And um, today is the day that we celebrate our Bella's Babies. That's right, you guys. Bella, for anybody that doesn't know, her channel is Cherubs and Bubs. That's right, you guys. And she's all the time doing giveaways over there on her channel. So you all the time have a chance to win a Bella's baby. Now, Bella does paint the babies. Sorry, another loud car. Bella does paint the babies, but she also um, just, you know, um, Reweights them before she sends them out to us and there is something about Bella's babies if you guys have never went and watched Bella Bella is um, Very pleasant to watch. She's very calming. She doesn't bring up drama. She um, Doesn't talk about anybody. She literally comes on and shows her babies and that's it and she loves us She loves us all enough that she does almost weekly giveaways sometimes she does miss them because you know she has to resupply or whatever it is life comes up but believe me nobody has given away even me with my big thousand subscriber giveaway have not given away as many babies as Bella does on her channel so if you guys have not went subscribed to her go subscribe to her and you guys can have a chance to win a Bella's baby so basically what I'm going to do today and what we do on Bella's Baby Day is we just show off our Bella's babies. That's it. And so before we get started on my Bella's babies, and I picked the worst time to come out here and film. Why is that every time I try to film outside? The reason I'm on the outside, you guys, is because Bella is very, she's very tied to nature. She's very spiritual. And so I figured Bella would enjoy seeing some greenery behind me. And I know it's not like the best. I actually had great intentions to go and find some waterfall or something around here in Lubbock. Because there is some at some parks. But we're due to have storms today. And so I just decided it is cloudy. There is some dark clouds. But I still wanted to film this on the outside. So instead of taking a chance of driving somewhere and getting caught... At least if I get caught in rain, I'm going to get caught right here in my yard and I can dash in real quick. So, anyway, I'm out in nature as much as I can. And yes, I'm sitting on a cardboard box. That's right, because the ground is still a little wet. <laughs> and I wanted to have some scenery behind me besides, you know, my usual. So that's why I'm on the outside. But the first one we're going to show off is Elliot. And Elliot is my Serena sculpt. And well, Elliot is just a little 16 inch preemie little guy. He is wearing um, actually some pajamas that belong to my granddaughter. And so they're Winnie the Pooh. And it says, hello little friend, because he's a little friend. <laughs> but Bella actually painted Elliot. So Elliot was actually painted by Bella. She painted him just for me. And I did brush his hair before we came. And well, mwah, him just gets all fuzzy mwah, all the time. I just love this little guy. He just, he's so small he can fit into my pocket. <laughs> he's adorable. But I don't do as much with Elliot as my other ones because he was painted by Bella. Like from start to finish, she made him specifically for me. So I am very, very, very careful with Elliot. So that is my Elliot. Yes, my Serena scope. All right, you guys. And this is why I'm always in hats, you guys. I thought 
I would try something different today. I thought I'd wear my hair down. I thought I'd put on something pretty for Bella's baby day. And well, you guys, I am not going to lie. I missed my hat already because my hair is just something else. And I miss my comfy clothes, but today is a special day, so that's why I wanted to dress up for it. So the next one we're going to look at is Jupiter, and Jupiter is my avatar baby, and he is just in a little white onesie because what? With Jupiter, you guys, I had to learn with him. He's an avatar baby, so he is not like normal babies. So he is definitely an alien baby, and well, me and him has learned how to deal with each other if you guys didn't watch that fantasy friday you guys go back and watch it because i'm not going to go into jupiter's story right now but he has to stay like in a onesie i just give up i tried putting him in yes you see trixie i thought it was scully but it's trixie um he i did try putting clothes on him i did try putting some pajamas on him making him cozy comfy warm and nope nope he the onesie is about the most i could put on this boy that's it Anything else, he does not want it on. He does not want anything binding his feet, his legs, his hands, anything. Because if anybody that doesn't know, avatars are almost like, they're very nature oriented. That's another reason we are on the outside, because of Jupiter. Jupiter is very much nature. Yes, he's like his mommy here. I love nature. I love being outside. That's why as much as I can, I film outside for you guys. As much as I can. Um, anyway. Jupiter loves being outside, so he is my little alien avatar baby. I don't know his sculpt. I don't know anything besides he's my little avatar baby, and oh my god, mwah, he was mwah, one of my list babies was to get an avatar baby, and I just love him so much, you guys. Oh my god. I, I love all my Bella babies. There's something about a Bella baby. <clears throat> Bella is very spiritual. Bella is a, I'm not sure, Bella, please. Don't be right, but she's a Rick, Rick, Ricky Hiller. Do you guys know what I'm talking about? And so there is a lot of positive energy, light, and love that comes from Bella. Um, I have messaged Bella. I have talked to Bella on the phone, and she is just as amazing to talk to as messaging her or just watching her on video. She is like that in real life. And so, she puts that in her babies also. I don't want to lay him on the ground. I got a little cardboard box I'm sitting on, you guys. Yeah. Anyway, she does that in her babies. So, all of Bella's babies are like just so, I don't know. There's something about them that they have fast became some of my favorite babies. Um, and yeah, you guys, speaking of favorite baby, Charlie is super duper mad at me. I started the unicorn baby. It is white now. So we did get that far. And um, so she does see that mama's not trying to hurt that baby, but Charlie is still a little mad. And then I had to tell her that today's Bella's baby day. She's not technically a Bella's baby. <sighs> Let's just say Charlie is a little mad at me, but I will make it up to her because she gets to go with me to pick up groceries in a little bit. So she'll have fun with mommy just alone. <laughs> anyway, this is my other Bella baby and it is my queen bee skull. And her name is Hazel. And Hazel is wearing just a cute little pink um, little bottoms with a cute little rainbow ruffle on the bottom. And her little onesie has got elephants and whales and rhinos and alligators and all kinds of fun little jungle animals on it. And I put her in this cute little bunny hat so that she might look her ears went down. Her cute little bunny hat so that she can match her little animals all over her clothes. And that is Hazel. And Hazel is one of my favorite girls. She really is. Um, I have my Maddies, which is always up there. Charlie is up there with the Maddies. And Hazel is right there with them. I love Hazel. As far as like all my littles, like my littles to hold and snuggle and, you know, pretend like they're real babies. You know, we all know they're dolls, okay? Disclaimer, disclaimer for anybody that didn't know this, they are dolls. And I know this. So when I talk like I do, it's because to me, they're my dolls. And this is, you know, what I do. I play with my dolls. I make my dolls real when I play with them. So Hazel is my favorite doll to sit and hold. My little love baby. You know, she really is. I just love Hazel. 
And so then the last baby we have to show on Bella's baby day. We got a little piece of cardboard that we're all sharing. So that's why. <laughs> That's why, you guys, and Trixie is having a blast out here running around with Hey Hey. Yes, you guys. Anyway, uh, and uh, this one is a little weighted. Pretty good. She did, oh, my God. Annie's right up there with Hazel. It's really hard because with her, this is the Juliet sculpt. And Annie is just wearing this cute little onesie romper that's got some cute little like orangey coral flowers and a cute little bow to match her little bow in her hair. And well, like I said, she is the Juliet sculpt. And I always wanted a Juliet sculpt because I would see them advertised like, and they always look so cute. She always looked squishy when they would, they would always prop her like against a wall like this and she would have on like a pink onesie. And, you know, and I would see her and I'd be like, she kind of looks like a doll, but oh my God, she's stinking adorable. It's kind of like that in the Betty sculpt. To me, they both resemble a lot. My Lucy resembles a lot. To me, the Juliet and the Betty are pretty close. They kind of look like dolls to where, you know, if I was to go out public with her, you know, of course people's gonna be like, oh, well, that's a doll. But there's just something about the Betty sculpt and the Juliet sculpt that always won my heart, even though they look like dolls and they're not realistic looking, it's something about their face. And so um, I named her after my granddaughter, my baby granddaughter, Annie. And so that is her name. And that is the Juliet sculpt. And so let me go ahead and get my Elliot up here, back up here with mommy. Oh, Elliot. So you guys, I think that's going to do it for us today is just to celebrate our Bella's babies. Just to celebrate B Bella for everything that she does for us in the community. I know that some of you that are subscribed to me have won Bella's babies before because um, that's what she does. She's very giving and very loving and she loves us all and just as much as we love her, that's why we created the Bella's baby day just for her. So. Um, make sure you guys tune in because Saturday, 6 p.m. Central, 5.30 p.m. Central for all of my Cloud Insiders. We will be going live. And then on Monday, it's Maddie Monday. And this week's Maddie Monday is Arts and Crafts with Mama. I had one idea I was going to do, but I think I've changed my mind. I'm not going to do that, but I have something else I'm going to do. And it's going to be so stinking cute if it turns out. If it turns out. <laughs> So it's Arts and Craft Day with Maddie. And well, you guys, I think that's going to do it for me. Um, just a quick little pop in to say how much I love you, Bella. I love you, sister. She is to my true soul sister. And well, I love her babies because I feel love coming from her babies. You know, every day. I just love them. They're, they've become some of my favorite dolls. So until the next video, everybody, bye. Let me tell you about Rebecca's Clown Kids. Magical parties, imagine comes to life. Every day is a joy, no one needs to frown. With Rebecca's Cloud Kids, we're the talk of the town. Bring the laughter, we bring the fun. Story time with Manny, she's the number one. Imagination soaring up in the sky. Rebecca's Cloud Kids, we're gonna fly. Come on, come on, join the fun and delight. Rebecca's Cloud Kids, we're shy. Magical parties, imagine comes to life Every day is a joy, no one